Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at four quadrant chopper, which is also called as type E chopper. So this is a circuit diagram. We have four switches CH1 to CH4 and four diodes D1 to D4. We are considering an RLE load, which can also be an equivalent representation for a DC motor, or you can also have a battery with an internal resistance R connected in series with an inductor. Now we'll be considering various cases for us to understand how four quadrant operation is achieved using this particular circuit. The first case is what happens when switches CH1 and CH4 are turned on. When CH1 and CH4 are turned on, that means all other switches are turned off. The current starts flowing from the source through this path, through this path, and the inductor starts charging with a polarity plus and minus, current flows through this path, and then it returns to the source in this particular direction. Now, what is the conclusion that we can draw at this point? The major observation is the output voltage is positive because plus and minus is available across inductor. Again, plus and minus is available across EMF the overall voltage that is available will be getting added up between the inductor and the EMF that is there. So plus and minus is the output voltage that is available when these two are added up. Obviously it will be positive. Positive plus positive will obviously be positive. Now the convention of current when the current flows in this direction into the load we are considering it is positive. As a result I out is positive. When V out and I out both are positive, then it is operating in first quadrant, isn't it? Now let us consider when CH1 is off, meaning to say from the previous circuit, we will turn off CH1 and ensure CH4 is alone turned on. So in that case, for analyzing this chopper in an easiest fashion, always start from the load, that is from the inductor. We know the basic property that the inductor does not allow sudden change in current. What do, what do I mean by that? The thing is, when it's charge charging with a polarity plus and minus, it will ensure that the current will still remain in the same direction as it was previously. It will reverse its polarity as minus and plus. So it will act as an energy source and the current will be flowing through this path, through this path. And minus is connected to the, over here minus is connected to the cathode of D2. As a result, it is forward biased and acts as short circuit and current will be circulating through this path meaning to say that the energy in the inductor will be discharging through the resistor R over here. Now what is the output voltage at this point? The output voltage is zero because this is a short circuit, isn't it? So V out is zero because CH4 and D2 are shorted over here and this is a short circuit over here. So V out is zero whereas I out is positive because the current is still flowing into the load according to our convention. So if you want the circuit to operate in first quadrant, you can play around with chopper CH1 and CH4 to do that. I hope this point is clear. Now let's consider case 2 when switch CH2 is turned on alone. When CH2 is turned on alone, what happens here is that the back EMF or the battery that is there based on whatever load that we use, in this case we'll only consider it as E, so this will be acting as an energy source and it will start charging the inductor with a polarity plus and minus. Since minus is connected to the cathode of D4, it will be forward biased and we are also turning on CH4. So the direction of flow of current will be from the energy source E over here. It flows through this path, it flows through this path, it flows through D4 and the current will be circulating in this direction. So what is the major inference here? Again, if you measure the voltage at these two points, this is CH2 and D4 is creating a short, isn't it? So as a result, V out will be zero, whereas I out is in the opposite direction according to our convention that we have considered. So that is why V out is zero and I out is negative. When V out is zero and I out is negative, then corresponding mode of operation is second quadrant. I hope this point is clear. So just remember the polarity of the inductor, it's minus and plus, isn't it? So now we'll be turning off chopper CH2. As I mentioned, everything is associated from the load based on the charging and discharging of the inductor. So it was minus and plus. It will ensure that the 
in current that was flowing previously does not change the direction will be the same so it will reverse its polarity to plus and minus and the energy the inductor will be acting as an energy source and current still flows in the same direction as it was flowing previously plus is connected to the anode of d1 and hence it's forward biased and minus is still connected to the cathode of d4 as a result it is forward biased and the current will be through this path into the source into this path in this path and it flows through d4 and returns back to the load so major observation here is that current is flowing from the load to the source over here if you carefully observe so v out is positive because if you consider these two points inductor voltage is positive the battery voltage or the back emf voltage here is positive plus 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 will obviously be positive so the v out will be positive over here and the current is in the opposite direction as it was flowing previously so as a result i out will be negative so v out is positive and i out is negative corresponding operation is second quadrant i hope this point is clear so if you have this circuit and you want it to be operated only in second quadrant you have to play around with the chopper ch2 alone now let's take a look at case 3 when we say case 3 and case 4 first primary observation in terms of circuit is the battery over here terminal is interchanged for us to achieve third quadrant or fourth quadrant operation so in this case we are considering third quadrant operation so we have to reverse its polarity over here so you might be having a question as how we can do that there are various possibilities of achieving that you can use a relay or you can use a programmable logic controller like a plc and you will be able to swiftly change the terminals of the particular battery or the back emf polarity that is there for a motor and you will be able to turn the or you can directly go and interchange the terminals that is another way of doing it but you have to do that for achieving third and fourth quadrant operation so now what happens is when this battery voltage is interchanged over here basically ch3 and ch2 is turned on in this case so what is happening is that the current will be starting to flow from the source over here through this direction through this direction through this direction through this direction inductor starts charging with a polarity plus and minus and current flows through this path and it returns to the source over here consequently what is the nature of output that we have if you measure the output voltage at this point it is minus for the inductor and minus at the battery terminals or back emf so the resultant will obviously be negative isn't it you are adding two minus quantities so it will be negative so v out is negative whereas i out is also negative because conventionally the current is flowing in the opposite direction into the load according to the consideration so v out is negative i out is negative and the corresponding mode of operation is third quadrant now let us say switch ch3 is off and ch2 is on meaning to say from the previous circuit we are turning off ch3 alone again the entire operation as i said earlier we will be analyzing from the inductor the inductor will reverse its polarity into plus and minus because it was minus and plus previously and ensure that the current is still flowing in the same direction as it was flowing previously so that is the first point that you have to consider and you are turning on CH2 as it is already turned on and if you carefully observe over here the flow of current will be through this path through chopper CH2 through this path through D4 and it returns back through this path I hope this point is clear so what is the voltage and current that is available at this point so the voltage is zero because ch2 and d4 are creating a short circuit basically at this point it's just a short circuit so v out is zero whereas i out is negative because the current is flowing in the opposite direction according to our convention as a result i out is negative i hope this point is clear now let's consider case four so for case three you need to play around with ch2 and ch3 in order to achieve third quadrant operation now let's consider case 4 in order to consider fourth quadrant operation or to get fourth quadrant operation possible you need to play around with switch ch4 now what will happen is that 
in this scenario the back emf again will be acting as energy source the current will be flowing through this path it will be flowing through this path it will be flowing through this path basically plus is connected to the anode of diode d2 as a result it is acting as forward biased and short circuit consequently the inductor will be charging with a polarity plus and minus over here so the direction of current will be in this path so you'll be having current to be in the positive direction and v out is zero because this is just a short circuit isn't it ch4 and d2 are acting as a short circuit at this point so you're able to achieve fourth quadrant operation because i out is positive and v out is zero now just remember the polarity of the inductor that is plus and minus as we move on we are going to turn off ch4 so what will happen immediately you have to remember you have to re reverse the polarity of the inductor because of the property of lenz law and the current starts flowing in the same direction as it was flowing previously and plus is connected to the anode of d3 and minus is connected to the cathode of d2 as a result it's still d2 and d3 are still forward biased and it allows the flow of current through this direction into the source through this direction and it flows through this direction and then it flows through d2 over here so this is the flow of current in this case so the energy is flowing from the load to the source again in this particular case so v out is negative and i out is positive because i out is in the same convention as we have considered in terms of sign and v out if you measure at this point and this point inductor is negative the battery is also negative so the overall voltage will obviously be negative because they get added up so v out is obviously negative the current is flowing from the load to the source whenever i mention current is flowing from the load to the source meaning to say it is acting as a generator that is it is converting mechanical energy into electrical and it provides electrical energy to the source that's the meaning of it so this will be clear as we consider the four quadrant operations over here we saw case 1 to be first quadrant case 2 to be second quadrant case 3 to be third quadrant case 4 to be fourth quadrant when i say first quadrant forward motoring is that when you connect as this particular circuit chopper type type e chopper or a four quadrant chopper with a motor load what happens it will be rotating in the forward direction as a motor that is it is converting electrical to mechanical energy now what is forward braking forward braking is nothing but the direction of the rotation will be in the forward that is with the, with respect to clockwise direction but it will be acting as a generator that is it will be converting mechanical to electrical that is possible when the load is supplying energy back to the source isn't it so that is what i mentioned that whenever the energy is flowing from the load to the source that means it's acting as a generator consequently depending upon the direction of rotation it is considered as forward or reverse braking so we saw this in case 2 again in case 3 reverse motoring is possible that is the direction of rotation will be opposite compared to that of forward motoring that is in this case it will be anti clockwise direction again reverse braking it will be acting as a generator the energy will be flowing from the load to the source and consequently the direction of rotation will be opposite over here compared to forward braking so you have one circuit where you can achieve all four possible operations and that's why this is popularly used in a lot of industrial application where you can actually precisely control on what mode of operation you want to achieve so if you want only two quadrant operation you can go for either type c or type d if you want all four quadrant operation you can go with type e that is four quadrant chopper i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how to analyze a four quadrant chopper in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions below please do give your valuable feedbacks in the comment section thanks a lot stay tuned